Hi there, my name is Andrew Renko and this is Studio Crutch Records. Welcome to my GDC talk and today we're going to talk about different compression formats in Unity and how they affect sound. So uh, we're going to compare PCM which is Valve Wave lossless uh, audio format and Vorbis mainly two of these formats because AD PCM is just awful and no one should use that at all. So let's do this. I created three uh, sine wave tones. First is sub bass tone, second is uh, 1k, around 1k uh, kilohertz tone and the last one is 8 kilohertz tone. So let's just go um, through them one by one. So the first tone is a uh, sub bass tone. Let's just uh, see how it looks originally. We can see it's very clean. This noise is uh, below 110 dB. The 16 bit uh, audio, which will be Unity's final bitrate audio, it is uh, around like minus 90. Uh, db minus 80 minus 90 db so it's very clean very, very clear nothing to bother about so the next we uh, this was wave pcm now we check in vorbis 100 percent preserve sample rate we can see that it became a little more dirty but it's still not a problem because it's less than minus 90. Nobody ever gonna hear that, even if we just solo the sound. Um, despite the fact that this is a sine wave sound, and sine wave sound is uh, the is the type of sound that uh, the artifact of this sound will be heard uh, easiest from all the other uh, sounds. So this test tone is just very vulnerable to any artifacts uh, from any codex. So these test tones are the best thing to check the compression on. So the next is Vorbis uh, 1%. It's uh, below minus 80. You c I can hear a little bit of uh, weird rumble in low end, but overall it's good. It's very clear, I would say, like uh, audio wise, what we can hear. Very clean and nobody, I mean, majority of people, like 98% of people will just never notice it. Uh, especially because I'm doing audio for mo mobile games and mobile games, you know. People tend to mute audio in them and never listen to it for some reason. So now we get to some fun territory uh, because uh, we change, we try to change the sample rate and preserve sample rate just preserves original sample rate. And uh, this setting, it tries to optimize the sample rate and it's really a bad setting that I think you should not be using because it really messes up with the sound and we can see this on the graph. We can see this points uh, because of uh, how low this frequency is. Uh, it's actually causing no harm, but in um, middle and the high frequency sample, it will cause the biggest damage. So, lastly, yeah, nothing at all. Let's go further. Next tone is middle tone. PCM, preserves, preserve sample rate, uh, just lossless audio. Very clean, nothing to bother at all. Next, Vorbis, uh, 100%. We can see those little stitches, or I don't know how to call this in English correctly. So, this is the harmonical uh, information, 
which begins to occur, but it doesn't really matter. It's very low. Nobody will ever gonna hear that. And Vorbis 1%, we can see that those stitches are uh, beginning to appear on the other side of this uh, sine wave, but still nobody will ever notice it. Next, which is fun thing, optimized sample rate. Just awful. Everyone will notice that. This is like, sounds like some almost 8 bit stuff. And uh, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't sound good. So I really encourage everyone to not ever use optimized sample rate. Uh, so here Warbis, we had Warbis on 1%, now we have it on 100% and it changes nothing. So the optimized sample rate is the setting that is causing this problem, it's not the bitrate of Warbis. So with preserved sample rate and 1% Warbis, it's very good. Next, highest tone. Very clean, very clean, very sharp. Warbis 100%, we see some small stitches, but we will never hear that. I can't hear that at all. 1%, still can't hear those. Awesome. But on optimized sample rate, we can see a little stitch over here to the left. It's actually not noticeable as well, and I would say that I just didn't hear it. But uh, yeah, it's just a thing. It adds up like this. Uh, this stitch last is like tw 23 kilohertz. Like your cat will probably hear that, but human will not hear that like ever, because our hearing is not going that far. But uh, it still messes up with audio, but uh, it's pretty good. You know, in, in, in this high, high frequency example, it's pretty decent and usable. But let's check the <laughs> a DPCM. I know that it can mess up with these uh, single frequency sounds real bad, but I never expected it to behave that bad. Can you see? You, you can actually hear that noise. And, like, it's huge. Look at this. We started from this, clean, and this is, uh, this is at EPCM, that's insane, but let's take a look what will uh, happen if we uh, change the setting of sample rate to optimize sample rate, some horror stuff. So, what is the outtake from this video, from this experiment? I think that the only setting we should be really using is the uh, Vorbis codec. I mean, compression format is Vorbis or uh, PCM. Uh, I think that no one should ever use ADPCM. It's like, it should be like a middle ground, but it's really broken it uh, messes up the sound very badly it's designed for more more for um, more complex sounds with uh, rich uh, frequency content uh, but on those single sounds it's like going wild so you can use it you can try to use it but i will never use it because i just don't believe in it but I do believe in Warbis because it's awesome. 
1%. You can actually see that the uh, amount of uh, files, I mean, the file size, it's not changing much. Like 100% is 21 kilobit, 21.8. 1% and 20.4. Like one and uh, how much? One, one and 0.4 kilobit, one kilobit basically of difference in size so why why is that so small because vorbis knows well um, the content it looks through the content and it can see what it needs to do to preserve the maximum quality uh, with uh, giving the minimal file size and that's awesome also about sample rate I sh think I will never use anything beside preserve sample rate. It's up to you to use uh, other settings, but I will definitely always use preserve sample rate because uh, this thing is crazy. I don't want to mess with it. I want my audio to stay as clean as possible. So this is it. This is the video. Thank you very much for watching. I think, yeah, that's all.